Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and if I'm not mistaken, I think I just have one level left, and that is the Turtle Zone. Doesn't look too difficult, or well, I don't know about difficult, but there's only three, uh, and of course I say not too difficult, but there's, I assume I go in the water, and I hate water levels. So we'll see how this goes. But, uh, yeah, this is not gonna, not gonna end too well for me, I feel like. Oh, well, maybe I should have gone up there. Yeah. Yep, I should have gone up there. Okay. That's a nice mushroom. But I could really use, like, a fire flower. And I could also really use... Nope, not gonna make it. <laughs> I hate how slow you go in, uh, underwater. But I will. Well, I guess I could have just done that, but I was too nervous that I might hit the... Oh, 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 shark. He's, he's still coming. Okay. Go run away. There we Okay. Is he still coming? I guess not. Did he go back the other way or something? Nope! There he is. Maybe he won't, hopefully he won't follow me. Okay. Oh, that was a close, <laughs> that was a close call. Um, yeah. Anyways, that, 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 uh, concerned me a little bit for a brief moment there. So far though, I mean, I guess these guys haven't been that hard to dodge or anything like that. Yeah, they're obviously, even that shark was pretty predictable. I'd been really concerned had it, like, you know, had it actually been able to, uh, like, come after me or something like that, but that was not a problem. I mean, there's another one right there, but I'm already at the checkpoint, too, which is even better. So let's see if I can't get to the end here shortly. And hopefully get me a good power-up from a bonus game, if I get to it or whatever. And I'm just gonna swim under that guy. Of course, that's usually how most of these levels, or how, mo how most of the zones are, is that uh, they seem kind of easy at first, like the first area, but then like after that, like the second area is obviously like a little harder, and then the third area is, or well, the final area is usually not too bad still, but well, in the case of the space zone, it can be pretty bad, but you know. That was just kind of a one-time thing. Really, they haven't been that bad in this game, I don't think. And this is a really easy bell ring. Is that really... Well, I say that, but I haven't gotten... There we go. But, uh... That was... That was probably the easiest bell to ring yet. I'd be happy with... Okay. Yeah, I'd be happy with that, I guess. I really would have liked, um... To get the Fire Flower, because I feel like that's... Way more useful. Especially more useful than the Carrot. I would have rather gotten the 1-ups than the Carrot, but, uh... So I guess I'm, I'm glad for that, but anyways, well, I guess this isn't underwater anymore. This is a ship. I didn't pay attention even to uh, the overall design of the, because uh, usually like the, wherever the dot is kind of gives a hint as to what, what kind of, uh, what the level will be like, I guess. So I'm sure that like, you know, on the, uh, on that uh, overworld area, there was probably like a picture of a ship and I just wasn't paying attention. I just assumed that it was another underwater level. Which so far it is just another underwater level. More or less with some Gordos. Okay. And I like the crossovers between all like the Nintendo games that they tend to have. At least in these these early on games. Like obviously the Gordos from uh, the Kirby games. And then in like some of the old uh, Legend of Zelda Game Boy games they have like the Boos and the, the Shy Guys and all that other stuff. So, you know, it's interesting reuse of the enemies. Like, it's extremely, like, creatively uncreative, in a sense, I guess is what you could say. Because for someone who, like, has only played one of these series, obviously these would be completely new, like, and original-looking enemies. But for someone like me who has played, like, all the series, or you're, like, you kind of catch on a little bit quicker, obviously. And that was the most pointless crud. I knew that, well, I guess it's a little easier to move around these guys now. But that made me pretty angry. I thought for sure there was going to be like something useful in there, but I guess not. Oh well. There better be something useful in here though. Nope, there's not. Oh, of course not. Well, let's see. There we go. Oh my. I jumped a lot higher than I thought I would. But, not like that's a bad thing, I guess. That's a good thing to keep in mind. Oh! Oh, crud! <laughs> That could have ended really badly. I didn't mean to kick it that way at all. Oh well. There we go. Gotta make sure to kick it the uh, the right way this time. And there's the checkpoint already. Granted, I oh I almost like the warp pipe almost shot me right into that Gordo. 
Anyways, I'm just gonna make my way through here. And yeah, I can't believe I'm already almost done with this uh, series too. It's a pretty short game, not nearly as short as the first Super Mario Land, obviously. But, you know, it's still a fairly short game. Of course, you know, that's the way a lot of these older games are. I mean, not like it's a problem or anything, but oh, hey, a money bag. But, uh, yeah. They're, they're quite a bit of fun, though, I have to say. And it makes for a, like, a nice little diversion, you know? Sometimes it's nice to have a fairly easygoing, like, quick Let's Play, as opposed to, like, a much longer one that takes, like, 20 or 30 parts or whatever. But, um, I should be getting fairly close to the... Or how... This is going to be difficult to maneuver, I feel like. I don't think- I was like, I think I'm just moving in place there. There we go. I guess that wasn't that hard to get around, but... If I was a bigger Mario, that would have potentially been more of a problem, but whatever. And am I ever going to get a, uh, Fire Flower? Because I kind of would- kind of want one at this point. And I feel like I'm getting fairly close to the, a, uh, yeah, the end. Well, that didn't work. Like I had hoped it would. But, nope, I need to get a little bit more momentum here. There we go. I, saying, I knew I just wasn't getting, like, a, a running start. Like, I wasn't starting from far enough over on the platform to get a good running start. All right, let's get this Fire Flower. There we go. I mean, I guess I could have settled for the three one-ups again, but I think I'm pretty good. Like, I don't actually die that much, except for in the space zone. That really, that really hurt me. But I haven't actually died that much other than that. And am I inside the whale now, I think? <laughs> I like the uh, little Goomba there. That was... Or I assume that's what that was. It was like a, a deep sea Goomba. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. That's what that is. Okay. That could be bad. Well, time for me to go back and get that uh, carrot. I almost called it a radish again, too. I have a, I still have a pretty bad habit about of uh, doing that. Oh, I almost jumped right back into it, too. That would have not been cool. So actually, you know, here I wanted the fire flower, but the the radish is actually going to be a little bit more useful in this case. So, oh, wow, I'm already at the checkpoint, too. That's interesting to note. And... I should be getting... Oh, yeah, I forgot Koopas don't walk off, uh, walk off edges. But, um, should be getting a little bit closer to the end now. Well, wait, I shouldn't say that. I just hit the checkpoint. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Oh, crud. Oh, <laughs> good thing I was, like, right in between those when I jumped up there. That could have ended poorly. Oh, okay. This is, this is a problem. Oh, wait, no, I can drop through here. I was like, wait, how do I get through there? But, yeah, that was not as big of a problem. I'm already at the boss? Because that's what... Oh, crud! That's that's a thing. Oh, my God. That's not good. <laughs> this is really bad. Shoot. I kind of like... Yeah, that was really dumb of me. Okay, I thought it would go right through the, uh, the little... What are those things called? Um... I want to say esophagus, that's not the right word. Um, whatever. I can't think of what it's called now. But that thing. <gasps> Crud. And here I was talking about how I don't need any lives, and I've already lost two. That was just recklessness on my part. That was like... <laughs> that was really dumb of me. Okay, time for me to get a little bit more serious, I suppose. That, that's what I get for being arrogant. I, I'm a strong believer in, like, karma in video games, because... That was just an unbelievable streak of bad luck and arrogance. Hey, it's a mushroom. And I, I'm going to want this fire flower wherever that happens to end up being. Which I think is somewhere over here. I think, at least. Yeah, I'm not going to make that same mistake twice. Yeah, the fire flower is over here, I think. Okay. I'm gonna wait for this bony fish to pass by. Cause I want- oh, okay, or not. Oh, cool. of course he doesn't die! Crud! 
Well, wonderful. That is just wonderful. Alright, well, okay, I'm, I'm close uh, to the boss again. Let's just jump right over this Koopa, as opposed to hitting him. And let's see who it is this time. Okay. Oh, no! Well, there we go, that's one hit. But I wonder if I can like jump on these guys, or if it's just the uh, uh, um, the big Papa Squid guy that I can jump on. Is that really all I have to do? <laughs> well, that was a piece of cake. I was like super concerned because here at the Mario Zone, well, the Mario Zone boss wasn't like that hard. The Mario B Zone boss wasn't hard at all. Now that I think about, it. I forgot it was. Uh, who was who was particularly difficult? Um. None of them, really. I guess if I had to pick one, it would be the Space Zone. The Space Zone level, I thought, was really the hardest overall. But none of them were, like, particularly difficult, I thought. Um, not compared to the uh, Super Mario Land bosses. Those were a little more, <laughs> quite a bit more hectic. Um, at least now I can enter uh, Wario's Castle now. So, yeah, that's basically what the next part will be. I assume the finale. So, as always, if you guys like this video, I would definitely appreciate you leaving me a like and potentially subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos from me in the future. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks again for watching.